89 also raced. What started the fight after the race was over? Well, it, it was one of those uh, situations where yeah, Daryl was not really a fan favorite at that time. Yeah. You know, Rusty was kind of like, I think, middle of the road. But we had made a pit stop and, you know, we're making a run to try to, you know, win the race and had been really dominant up to that point. But uh, the car stepped out on Daryl just a little bit and, and uh, Rusty drove it in there and, and hit us in the left rear quarter panel. Not hard, I mean, you know, but he hit him hard enough that it uh, it dented the left rear quarter panel and spun us out. You know, Daryl did a good job, didn't, you know, tear the race car up. Subsequently, you know, um, the teams had a, had issues with it. And one of my guys kicked Rusty's car when he was headed toward Victory Lane, and um, it was Todd Parrott and Sandy Jones, and they, they started the brawl, and the rest of us got into it, you know, and – Daryl was upset, and he was going to run his mouth, and I had to push him up in the trailer and tell him to cool his jets before we talked to uh, Jerry Bunch on TV that day. And that's when he came out and told us, you know, well, I hope he chokes on it 200000 mm. But uh, subsequently, it, it, it put Daryl in a different light, and the yeah. fans appreciated him more. They did kind of turn on, on Rusty, didn't really uh, like him because of that. So it was it was kind of like it was worth losing the race to kind of change the perception mm -hmm. of Daryl's image. And oh, by the way, we brought that same car back the next week with just, we waxed it up, but we didn't knock the dent out of it because Rusty was saying, I didn't, I didn't hit him. Yeah, mm -hmm. well, there's the dent right there to yeah. prove it. And we went out and won the race that day. Yeah, how about yep. that? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Monday evening at 7 o'clock to Racing Roots with Ham. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next episode.